On the outside, the bale baron is a simple concept. Small bales enter and large bundles exit. But bundles don't simply happen. Inside the bale baron is a well-orchestrated series of actions, engineered and perfectly timed for productivity that's fast and consistent. Let's take a look inside the Bale Baron 5250P to better understand how a bundle of 21 bales is actually made. As the bales enter the pickup chute, the vertical rollers boost the bales up the conveyor and onto the rotary table. The perforated turntable rotates each bale into the proper position, ready to enter the chamber. Notice the mechanical spacer bar that prevents additional bales from clogging the chamber entrance. As the first bale moves into position, it activates the two-stage injector which pushes the bale forwards and up. The second and third bales are also injected into the chamber, creating a stack of three bales. As the plunger starts working, it also moves the holding doors out of the way. Next, the plunger pushes the stack deeper into the chamber, making room for the next column. Pressed against the twine, the bundle begins to form. Repeating this process, the bale baron creates seven stacks, making a 21 bale bundle. The tie cycle is now ready to begin. At this point, the end gates close and hold the bales in place, while the plunger compresses them. This compression creates a tightly packed bundle. Up from the bottom, four long needles draw the twine around the entire bundle and into the raspy knotter. Using 450 strength plastic twine, the raspy knotter ties the large bundle together safely and securely. The end gates release and the tightly formed bundle is ready to exit. As the next bundle is formed, the tied bundle is pushed down the roller ramp and lands gently on the ground. You now have 21 bales neatly packed together, giving you small bale profit and large bale efficiency. The Marcrest Bale Baron. Fast, consistent, and simple.